Guys, welcome to the day two of three day lead generation challenge. Today we'll be setting up your online assets. Okay, we'll be focusing on building your skills pages. I'll show you how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. And we'll also be setting up uh, your currently offer. Like I know you, you might be knowing currently, but I'll show you how to optimize it for things, how to set up uh, for, for things. Okay. Uh, okay, I have a little presentation for you. Um, We'll start with it. Okay. Need not be a presentation. Okay. I'll, I'll show you exactly how we will do this. So on the part one, uh, we'll be saying skewed pages. Okay. What is a skewed page? Is it, is it something like your landing page? Okay. Technically, skewed page is nothing but a landing page which marketers use to collect email address and data from prospects. Okay. So, you call it a skews page because you pursued a skews visitors to provide the information by presenting a special offer. Like, like I said yesterday, like in previous class, we were talking about lead magnet. So here, what we do is on a skews page, you give your lead magnet or, or the valuable gift you have for your visitors and you ask for their data. That is what a skews page does. Basically, when building a funnels or anything like, okay, on this course, we are not going for funnels and all, but especially when you are building a funnel or whenever you are building a marketing funnel, skill page will be the first first step in every funnel. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let me show you how to build a, a skill page. Okay. I generally use uh, Optimize Press plugin on WordPress. I install, I use WordPress for all my websites and landing pages and I use this software called Optimize Press. I'll show you. Uh, so this is the software I use for uh, building my, my skills pages or funnels or whatever uh, I build. Uh, but um, okay, in the suit plan, it comes with funnels. See, optimize funnels. So if you want to build a uh, funnel on WordPress, I would suggest you go for Optimize Press. But in this course, in this challenge, we are not uh, buying any expensive software. We are not, we are not, we are literally not purchasing any software. So I will, I'll help you get started with zero money, like you know, without spending anything on software. So we'll not be in this challenge. We'll not be using Optimize Press, but I generally use Optimize Press. Okay. So here. Uh, we'll be using the software called ConvertKit. So ConvertKit is a popular email automation software, email marketing software. It has got a free plan to start with. Uh, okay. So to start with, see, free for 300 subscribers. If you have a 300 subscribers when you are initially starting out, this is a, this is a great plan. Okay. This is, a, this is a great platform to start with. And it has got uh, landing pages or reported skills pages to offer what you what you have. So initially you don't have to spend so much on um, uh, optimized press or server or WordPress or, or anything like if especially if you are not a techie, don't go for it. So you can create a free account in ConvertKit. I've already created an account in ConvertKit. So this is for demo purpose for uh, for email automations for email marketing. I use Active Campaign. Uh, active comment doesn't ha have a free plan like it comes with a 14 day free trial but it doesn't actually have a free plan like convert kit so here i'll show you how to use convert kit like the free free plan of convert kit to build a skews page and start email marketing okay so here once you log into once you create your uh, convert kit account you'll get a dashboard like this yeah, I haven't sent any 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 emails from the send your first email. It is still showing send your first email. Okay, but I have I have tried uh, collecting leads for like for a small program which I hosted a couple of weeks back just to test the software. So here, uh, once you reach your uh, dashboard, you can go to grow and then you choose landing pages and forms. This is where you can actually create a uh, create a landing page. Uh, you call it a skills page because this is needed when uh, suppose okay. Uh, I asked you to come up with ten lead magnet ideas. By now, I think you might have uh, picked one from this ten uh, which you have already created. 
Now what you do is you finalize one and in this landing page or in this queue page you are going to tell about it. The only the only function of this queue page is to make people download your uh, download whatever you offer by giving by giving you their data. Okay. So I have tried something in the past. See your free webinar, find your dish. So it has got 24 visitors and 92 subscribers, and I got a 79.17 conversion rate, which is great. Like so, so the conversion rates are better when you when you opt when you design a good looking um, landing page or skills page, and it is very easy with ConvertKit. Let me show you how easy it is. Like once you reach your landing page form signups, you click on create new, then you choose landing page. The landing page, there are so many pre-made templates for you for you to make your work easy. See, there are so many, like if you are looking for events, there are events, there are there are so many. If you have a newsletter, you have newsletter, it is a product. There are so many, so many amazing templates which you can use. Okay, let me take Okay, if you want to see this, you can click on preview. If you're good at video, if you have a good presentation video from somebody uh, asking people to sign up for this, uh, then you can use this template. But since I don't have a video or something for this, because I'm a person, I'll, I'll choose this. It's a simple one. And now you can customize it. You can just click and customize it uh, based on your based on your lead magnet. I do not know what lead magnet you have chosen. Uh, maybe if it is a book or something, you can you can go for it. Like if it is a book, you can choose a different one. So download this guide. And then you can literally click on this and change everything you have. If you want to click this or if you want to, you want to try anything. I think this one looks good. Okay, you, you click on this and you click choose choose option. Once you click choose, you can you can literally uh, click on the text and change. I uh, get my free. So just like this you can you can edit it here and if you want more more fields you can click on this plus button and then you can add field here if you want to ask for phone number but i would suggest you don't do it like make it very very minimal like ask for less information so that there's a higher chance of people actually completing and downloading this book so these all these text you can change just like just like that, you can click and edit everything here. And once you once your design is ready, even the book, everything you can you can like do a trial and error, and you will figure it out. You click on this image, and you can later replace here. And then once your design is ready, once you think uh, your design is ready, you go to settings. In the settings, uh, like. You can decide after subscribing, after you collect the data, what what should what should you do like or uh, what should be done like either you can show a success message, uh, you can edit this message, or if you have a website or if you have a event link, if you are if you have invited if this is an invitation for a uh, recorded webinar or something, then you can in you can redirect them to your webinar page, your 
your Facebook or, or wherever this is happening, wherever the event is happening, by just clicking on redirect to external page, and you can give the external link where the visitor should be sent. And uh, other than that, there is an option called incentive. So incentive is something uh, like what do they get after after they subscribe. So here you can uh, send them an incentive email. You can edit the email here. You can edit the incentive email here. Uh, also, here is an op option called after confirming redirect to. So after they confirm, either you can redirect these people to a particular URL. Uh, this can be a Google Drive link or something like that. Or what you can do is there is an option called download. Here you can attach your file, like you would have a PDF book. You can attach the PDF file here and save it. So what, what happens is like once they uh, submit the submit their data, once they submit their name and email ID, this particular PDF will be sent to their email. Uh, this is not important. Uh, but if you want, you can send your subscriber to a thank you page after submitting or hide the form. This is not important. These two are important. Like you, in the general, there is an option for you to redirect them to a website after after they subscribe. And in the incentive page, there is an option to add your PDF file or video or whatever. Like whatever depends on what you're offering. Depends on whether it is a ebook, whether it is a a PDF guide or whether it is a checklist or, or a webinar or a free webinar or a free masterclass uh, or say uh, say it is a free 30, 30 minute consultation so if it is so then you can choose URL and then uh, you can use your currently link to schedule a free, free call with you something like that it, it totally depends on what you are offering and then you save and then you publish once you publish you get this particular uh, link and this, is the, this will be the link which you can send your prospects uh, to download this particular uh, lead magnet, okay? That's it and, uh, and once you get your, once you have all your uh, subscribers, you can see them here. You can see your subscribers here. And here is an option called broadcast. Broadcast just very similar, like just like you whenever some event is happening or something, you can manually invite them. The problem with this pre plan is there is no automation. If you want automation, you have to purchase their pre plan. But initially, I don't think you will need automation also because you will have so less people in the list. So you can manually do it, like you can send broadcast. And maybe after a month, after 30 days or something, you can you can upgrade your plan and you can get automations done. Uh, automations are cool, like this is how I do automations. And uh, this is what I use. I use Active Campaign. Active Campaign is also a great tool. Uh, but I personally feel to start with ConvertKit will be good because it has a free, free plan. That's it. So you can do all the trial and error. Once you get the knack of it, you like if you want to migrate, you can migrate or you can keep upgrading the plan. So like automations, the seven day trip campaign I've, I've added in my active campaign. So these options are there in the convert kit also, but I am not using convert kit. So there is visual automations, which will be available only after the paid plan. But here in broadcast, you can send them uh, broadcast about, you can broadcast about the events coming up or you can uh, invite them for future events or not. You just click on new broadcast, you type your heading, you type your comment and share. Like that's what it's, it's very simple. It's very simple and straightforward. Okay guys, um, I'll show you how to set up your, how to optimize your LinkedIn profile in the next video.